Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you briefly how you can install Aircrack in Windows. So go ahead and start up your Windows. But this is not a good idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that out of the box. Uh, not something you actually want to do. So I already have it installed here and this is how it looks like but I'm just gonna go ahead and close it to show you what you need to do. First off you need to go ahead and go to the website called www.aircrack.com dash ng.org and download the file and that's pretty much it after you've downloaded unzip it and it will work so let's just go ahead and click on it it's right there I'm gonna use my unzipping program so it's 7-zip well it doesn't belong to me it's just the one that I've chosen to use but you can use Minrar or pretty much anything else that you have available I'm going to go ahead and select aircrack-ng, extract it, select a folder to extract it. I'm going to say desktop, I've already extracted uh, twice there. Yes to all, copy over it. It's not going to ask you this question because you're not going to have it there. And there we go. It is successfully extracted to desktop. As I said previously, there is no installation procedure of whatsoever. This is the folder that I'm moving about. Uh, just go ahead and open it, select bin. And there is, it says aircrack-ng GUI.exit. That is the one that you need. Excellent. And here we have the tool works. It's right here. You didn't need to install anything. You didn't need to go through any lengthy procedures or anything of a kind. You have three programs here. Aircrack-ng actually have uh, four of them, but we're not going to be using these two for the time being. Uh, you have airdump-ng and aircrack-ng. Airdump is used for collecting information and you use aircrack-ng in order to brute force the brute force the password or brute force the encryption key should I say. Now as I said I do not recommend this if you really wish to use Windows uh, here's how you can do it here's how you can use it other than that I really really don't recommend it. And now we're gonna switch back to our Linux to our Linux and here we will see what else do we need so one of the primary problems that we will encounter is the fact that we're unable to generate vast amount of passwords manually of course ever tried typing in a, manu a min million words million passwords manually not gonna work so the first thing one of the first things that we need here is our crunch which is a piece of code a software which we will use in order to generate password lists uh, it's very flexible, easy to use. We can state how many uh, how many characters do we want our code do we want our passwords to have from what length to what length is the possibilities like minimal and maximum length of the password. And if we know fractions of the password, we can even use those fractions and insert them. Uh, before we can do any of those things, we first need to go and download Crunch. Crunch is available on sourceforge.net. Just type in Crunch password generator. And here we will get a link to SourceForge. Excellent. So just go ahead and download this. Uh, your download will start in a few seconds and the whole download process will last a few seconds. So just go ahead and save the file. Let's just open it up. Uh, we will need to extract it. Just use the default ARC extractor. It's simple as that. Choose a folder. I'm going to go ahead and pick desktop primarily because I'm going to delete it later as I already have it installed and configured. Uh, there we go. That's done. It's, it finishes up really fast. Uh, you don't even have the time to see what's going on. So I'll just go ahead and close these things. Uh, excellent. So Crunch is here. If I opt to open it, there are some things in here which we will tend to use later on. But I will explain them once we actually start using them for the time being. I just wanted to show you how to install it. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal. Navigate over to the folder where it is located. So CD home chronic uh, desktop crunch excellent ls. Now there isn't uh, you don't have an instruction here how to do it, but you see there is a make file, and whenever whenever there is a make file, well just type in make. You do need to have sudo. You do need to be root or have a sudo password. So just type in make excellent. There we go. That has passed. Make install. Press enter again, and there we go. 
uh, you will have the installation process done and ready to go. Uh, crunch is now. Oops. Oops. Yes, my favorite spelling. Crunch is now installed. You can see that the man page that the man pages for it are functional, and this is the syntax. You would type in one number here and another number here, the max, the minimal and maximal length. Uh, character set here. You could type them in manually or use predefined ones, and then you have then you can pass a ton load of other options if you wish. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, you don't need to actually read through all of this, but skim through it. Just scroll through it, see see what parts you can catch, and see uh, if they are of any use to you. But I assure you, in the later uh, in the later in the later tutorials uh, they will be as we will be using crunch for example in this fashion so let me just go ahead and clear the screen type in crunch uh, crunch and then i will tell it to generate a certain length uh, let's say from i don't know from 3 to 9 i've seen people type in from 0 to some to like 9 so you can exclude 0 immediately but it it doesn't do any harm it doesn't actually take away that much time uh, i'll just type in from three to I don't know five and now I can pass in I am gonna say a b c d one two three and now I can pipe this you see I can pipe this to air crack dash ng and everything that all the passwords that are generated here will be passed to aircrack ng and will be used immediately uh, I need to add a few more commands here of course and that I will do in the next tutorial but I just want to explain the significance of this because let's say I do this 3 to 5 press enter and I'm gonna cancel it before it manages to finish it says crunch will now generate the following amount of data so 7680 uh, 7, bytes that's nothing. It says uh, this is the amount of passwords it's going to generate. 1,344. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's try something else. Let's try A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Press enter now look at what happens the number the file size has grown exponentially the amount of possible combinations have grown exponentially and it says 17 17 megabytes but this is this is a very small password this is going to get cracked in a couple of seconds this is no big deal uh what how about if i specify the length of 9 just look at what happens <laughs> It says that it has 51 terabytes of data, and this is how many possible combinations there will be. Okay, uh, this is a very large number, and with my CPU, it would take me a very long amount of time to do that, but not 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 a reasonable amount of time in any case. Uh, it says 51 terabytes. That's a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. See what happens. It says almost 1,000 terabytes from 51 just by adding uh, numbers from zero to nine. And if I, if I, for example, you get you get where I'm going with this. But let's say that I type in here, I don't know, 20, 29. Okay, this is gonna be ridiculous. Basically, it tells me that it will generate 6,998 petabytes of data, which is yeah. You are simply not going to have enough room on your hard drives. It doesn't really matter how big they are. You're not going to have a single petabyte of storage in your house. Uh, a petabyte of storage is 1,000 terabytes. So that's that's a lot. And you're not going to have it in your house. You see, what you would do with aircrack generally is... I'm just going to explain why this is important. Dash NG, you would dash W... And then you would pass some sort of a password list.txt file to it in order to crack a certain file with it. Uh, however, these password lists, as long as they are good as they are, they do not guarantee that the password will be cracked. Uh, and you cannot generate 
this amount of information with this many combinations and put them in a file on your local computer and if you put it in a cloud somewhere it's going to cost you a ridiculous amount of money. What you can do, however, is say is pass an argument dash w dash and I'm just going to use my previous command. Do this. Uh, air crack dash dash ng and here I'm going to do dash w dash. Excellent. So now crunch will not save these things. It will they will simply go to standard output and air crack will pick them up from standard output and utilize them in order to basically break the encryption of a capture file that we will later on capture as well. So this was just an example, a post-installation example of why and an explanation of why we needed to install Crunch. Uh, you can also, there's also a way, I've seen it somewhere in the net, but I haven't managed to find a safe way, a safe place to download Crunch for Windows from the net, therefore I have opted not to actually show you that uh, due to safety reasons, but uh, it is possible to do it in Windows, again, not recommended at all. In any case, I bid you farewell uh, till the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will start with the cracking process and you will see how we can actually crack a genuine Wi-Fi. I bid you farewell.